there welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite purple lipsticks of all time i guess of all time as of right now um i started wearing purple lipstick about a year ago as time has gone by i've gotten more confident in wearing things that are outside of the box for me i have just fallen in love with purple lipstick i think that especially bright purple lipstick is so beautiful in the fall time and springtime um but since we are moving into fall time here in cali i just wanted to do this video because i feel like purple lipstick is especially beautiful in the fall time especially with these like darker colors i hope you guys like this video and i hope that you are introduced to some new shades so anyways i want to stop talking let's just jump right into this This is Susperia by Kat Von D. It's not fully dry yet, but it's a really beautiful, I'm really bad at describing colors, um, purple bordering lavender, like a really dark lavender type of color. It's definitely almost pastel, but I like how it looks on my skin tone. I feel like it looks really good. Um, so yeah. So this is LUV by Kat Von D. Um, as you can tell, it is a little bit darker than Suspiria. Um, they look almost the same on camera, but I promise they're not the same. Um, this is actually my all-time favorite purple. I think it looks so beautiful on medium skin tones. Um, I just like how it looks on me. I tried it on my best friend when she was here and she loved it as well. It looked really amazing on her. So I would suggest that you check it out, whatever skin tone that you are, because it's just a beautiful color overall. So this is LUV. Oh, I absolutely love it. I love it so much much it is so so beautiful i just really really like it i love the formula of the kat von d liquid lipsticks um it is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas because they're just so comfortable and they last forever so yeah this is lub okay so the next one is we're kind of jumping from like a purpley magenta color to straight up purple um, this is LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pig Pigment Gloss. It says gloss, but it's a liquid lipstick. Um, and this is in the color Black Current. And um, I don't know if you can tell. It might look black. I don't know you can tell. It's pretty just straight up purple. So, yeah. You can tell. It kind of looks a little black, but it's not. So this is a black current. You, what was that? I really love it. I really love it because I'm not really comfortable wearing black, but this is definitely like not black. It's still purple. It still adds a pop of color, I guess. A pop of color. It still adds color to my makeup, um, and it's different. And I just like it. I like how it looks. I just really love it. I'm really excited to wear this during the fall time. So this next one is um, Raven Raisin by Wet n Wild. All of the lipsticks from this line are really opaque um, and just really good quality, which is really shocking because these are only like $2, which is pretty awesome. And Raven Raisin is just pretty amazing. This is actually the purple, the first purple that I ever got. And when I first put it on, I thought it was just like, kind of weird. I didn't feel comfortable in it. I felt like people were going to just stare at me. Now, kind of, you know, getting more into makeup and throughout these past couple months, I've just been so comfortable wearing color on, you know, as eyeshadow and on my lips. So I'm very, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird when you look back and see like your makeup 
transformation, I guess you could say. Um, just things that you weren't comfortable with wearing before and now you're super comfortable or just things that you weren't good at and now you're really good at. Um, yeah, I just like to look and remember all that stuff because I think it's interesting and fun. So this is Raven Raisin. I guess I would consider this a mauve purple. It's just really super pretty and um, again, I would wear this lipstick now and just go out anywhere and be okay with it, but when I first got it, I was just like very self-conscious about it and I just felt really weird wearing it out, but as you can tell, it's like nothing. So yeah, that is Raven Reason and my phone is going crazy, but um, so this one is my most recent purchase, um, but I fell in love with it so, so fast. This is um, NYX Liquid Suede in sub subverse, Subversive Socialite. It's just so beautiful, so. Okay, so the last one, the sixth one, um, is actually just an honorable mention. This, I would consider this a dark, dark plum purple, but it's so beautiful. I discovered this last fall, uh, at the end of last fall, and I just fell in love with it. It's nothing new. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it, but um, it is... Uh, Transylvania as you can tell it totally looks black on the tube I tried this on by itself and because it's not a liquid lipstick it kind of moves around on my lips and so you are able to see it you're able to see my natural lips through the lipstick which I don't like because it looks terrible but I love this color so much and usually I am the type of person where if I buy a lipstick and I'm just saying lipstick because lipstick um, is my favorite type of makeup. Um, I want it to work amazing right off the bat. I feel like there is no need why I should buy something and then have to use something else just to make that product good enough. Um, and so usually when I find products like that, I just don't use them. I throw them or return them. But this is an exception to my little rule I guess that I made up in my head because I just love this color so much. I use that with Max Night Moth because it's a very similar color so I just take Night Moth and I line my lips and I fill my lips in with this and then I put Transylvania over top so I'm just going to show you guys what that looks like. These smell so good. <sighs> So this is Night Moth, oh, it's so, or Night Moth and Transylvania, they're so beautiful. I love it so much. So you can definitely tell that it's very plummy, but I love it. I love this one so much. It's just so beautiful. Mm, I cannot wait for the fall to start wearing this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I hope you like this video. I've been wanting to do it for a while, uh, but I felt it was more appropriate now since we are heading into fall. Um, if you like it, please give me a really big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more makeup, baking, and craft videos because that is just what I love to do. So yeah, I love you guys so, so much. and. I I love you guys so, so, so much and appreciate each and every one of you. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.